Hello guys, sorry about the interruption, but um, it was a minor interruption with an alarm that went off on my phone. So I am back now and this is part two of my interview with Papioso or Papio. Waiting for him to come back into the room and then we'll start the, the interview again. Oh, I see him. Okay, cool. Great. <laughs> there we are. Mm -hmm. I had to cut the So I was asking... Um, what is some of the best advice you have for an up-and-coming artist or somebody that's trying to get into entertainment, a rapper, a singer, and just an artist? What is some of the best advice you could give them? To keep working and never stop. Just keep working. If you believe in your talent, you know, and then and put your and you put your all into it, and you know, just to keep going, just don't stop. Like I feel like for an upcoming artist, the best advice I could give to them is to keep working. And, and, and just stay at float, just keep working. Like, don't get distracted by other people or other people's opinions of what you believe in your heart that you love. If you love to do what you love to do and that's your passion, then go hard for it, you know? Cause it wasn't, it's not an overnight thing. You gotta go, you know, you gotta, I, I don't yeah. think through shows, hella upcoming performance, like, like, like open mics, so like you just gotta present yourself to the world like and just keep working and working and working and you know it'll pay off eventually because you'll you'll meet so many beautiful people in the process of working you know so like i was watching the new space jam recently and he said uh uh lebron on there said you can't be great if you don't put in work so the best advice i could give to somebody is just to put in the work Right, right. Definitely. You definitely have to put um the work behind it. The you know, the passion gets you there, but the work is what, you know, is where you'll have your longevity and your and, and your most success. Yes, definitely. Um I did wanna ask I did wanna ask those questions. So as you, being an independent artist, there's a lot of, you know, different levels of being an independent artist and you mm -hmm. are a successful independent artist. Where, like, I just always wonder about artists often fund their own career. Mm -hmm. Is it really hard to find um, funding or has it been, has it been very profitable, shall I say, for everyone? Has it been profitable for them, um, for you as being an artist? Bars and funding. Like, that's when, that's where it comes in, like, when you put the work in. Because if, when you put the work in, now people wants to support you and wants to mm -hmm. support you they'll start to support what you got going on. So if you have a shirt or something that you could sell, nowadays, back mm -hmm. in the day, you used to sell CDs out the trunk. Nowadays, kids don't have CDs, don't have that type of, you know, structure anymore. Everything's on a phone. You could just aux everything. Everything's an aux cord or an app. So yeah. the, we lost the interest of selling CDs physically to mm -hmm. the consumer. So now the CD yeah. is the shirt. The CD is the socks. The CD is the hat. So now, you know, I would say get merchandise because when you sell your merchandise mm -hmm. now, you're now, you know, you have to work. You have to get some type of money, first of all, you know, to get the merchandise. But once you, you get that out the way, now you have your merch, you go sell your merch and your merch will pay for your studio time. Your merch will pay for your promotion. Your merch will pay for, you know, your, your, uh, your, you know, to get your stuff more out there or, you know, so like mm -hmm. I'll say be more of a I wouldn't say like like a hustler not the hustler that's out there on the corner selling drugs but a hustler that's out there right. you know grinding is uh just trying to get something you know for what mm -hmm. they put they work in so like I say you you just put the work in far as in you know the music wise and if that works and you get your merch and you sell your merch and then next thing you know that the music would eventually start paying off for dispenses you know what I'm saying then like if mm -hmm. you know if you get popular enough and you're hot enough in the streets and your music is like really fire, then you start to get feature money, you know? And and, and, and mm -hmm. as an independent artist, things like that helps the thing, keeps the ship going, you know, keeps the wheels rolling, yeah. you know? So like Definitely. little things like that. But you also, you gotta, you know, I do stuff besides music, you know? I sell merch, mm -hmm. you know, I, I do stuff over here, you know? So you gotta, you gotta have a strong team, you know, a strong loyal team. Mm -hmm and things will get done. You know, you ain't gotta be very expensive with it, but as an mm -hmm. upcoming artist that's on a strive, they're trying to, you know, blow up or have dreams of being very successful, you know, once you put the work, the work start to work for you. 
So you're, you're putting mm. in the work, and the next thing you know, your name's going up, and next thing you know, your people wants to buy merchandise from you. And then next thing you know, the merchandise is paying for your studio time now. It's paying for gas to go to a show, you know? So, like, it's, 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 mm. it's, 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 a, it's, it's work. It ain't easy, but it's mm -hmm. work. You got to put it in. Right, right. Well, that's some really, that's uh, some really, really good advice. If you had the chance to collaborate with anybody, um, if you had a chance to collaborate with anybody, whether they're independent or mainstream, who who are a few of the artists or that come to mind that you would want to collaborate with? Um, that's a hard one, but because I, I like a lot of artists, um, mm. but if I had to choose one. I'll say Lil Wayne, just cause oh. the, just Lil Wayne, cause he the goat, and you know I looked up to him as a as a kid growing up. So like I'll say mm -hmm. Lil Wayne. I had to get that verse from Lil Wayne. Well, I think that I think uh, you uh, you and Lil Wayne would make a really good pair as far as you pick <laughs> someone that's really good and 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 it seems like it would be a good matchup with the type of music that yeah, both you sure. and Wayne make. I think it's a really good matchup. <laughs> So also, I wanted to ask, like, they're, because of, like, streaming services to me, like, streaming services don't really pay artists, yes. right? They don't really pay artists, so they're really mostly purely for promotion so that everybody can get access to your music. How do you feel about streaming services and artists, and what streaming service or distribution service, shall I say, do you use? Um. I do, you know, streaming service, they got, you know, uh, United Masters, you know, you got uh, mm -hmm. TuneCore, you got DistroKid, you know, you just got to go with mm -hmm. the one that's, that's good for you. I mm -hmm. I go with TuneCore. I like TuneCore. I've been using TuneCore for years. Um, and you, like you said, you know, you said it's the streaming, uh, it, like how it goes, because since the streaming art, uh, the streaming really don't pay as well, but it, it also mm -hmm. do pay as well if you're streaming good you know if you're like if, mm. you're, if, if you're doing real good with your stream and if you're in the millions of streams and fifty thousands and sixty thousands or hundred thousands of streams you really got to be in a million streams to start to see the paper you know so mm -hmm. like um that's where you know you get on playlisting you know you find uh you find avenues to to get your music out there more so like i'll, I'll go to shows i use shows you know, I travel a lot. I go like I've been to LA, I've been to Puerto Rico, I've been to Atlanta, I've been to Florida. So I've been around and I've been traveling, and that been helping with my fan base growing, and that help with mm -hmm. the streaming. You know, so like when it comes down to streaming, you 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 have to you have to navigate more of where your fans, how many fans are actually tuning in, how many fans are actually listening into the music. So. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, that's why you do the show. That's why you do the shows and you you do your thing. But play and get on as much as playlists as you can. You know, the right playlist, mm -hmm. not any playlist. And then your music start to stream as well. And then you will start to see some streaming income. You know what I'm saying? So, and, and you know, mm -hmm. they drop in market. They drop in little periods when you get checks from like a TuneCore or a DistroKid. But that all the, the check is is based off how well your streaming is doing. Sure, sure. You know, and you know something I noticed when I went to music business class, I really didn't talk to. I really wish they would have had people, you know, like you or people like the people I had, the artists that I've had on, both from behind the business and in front of the business or the artists as well, mm -hmm. in order to tell everyone what it is like, <laughs> what it is like with like people in our area and what they're doing. Because if you don't really know what's going on at a certain level like it's really hard to you know yeah yeah for it's sure really like, it's, it's definitely hard for an independent artist for sure but what makes it easier for an independent artist like in my like in my shoes is if, if you're if you're very good like if you have something to offer and people actually like what you're doing and stuff like that it makes it a little bit easier once you have mm -hmm. a fan base that can like you know support what you're doing because that's where we're like as artists that's all we you know we, we strive for is to get more supporters and fans that like that love us and like our music but like that all goes back into putting in the work like i was telling you before if you put in the work and if you and if, and if you're incredible at what you do and, and great at what you do your, your 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 presence will speak for itself and people will love you for what you you're bringing to the table because you're being genuine you're being yourself 
So, yeah. like, that goes all the streaming and all that stuff. It's not like you, you just go out there and grab it. You, you got to put it in the work if you want the real streamers, if you want the real fans, if you want the real engagement. So, like, all I've been doing since 2012 was grinding so hard and, and going to all these shows and upcoming shows and open mics to get to get the engagement, to engage with the fans and and give them my to give them give them what I had to offer on that stage. And when, once I leave that stage, that's when you know they they tell me, hey, listen, man, I love what you've been doing on that. I love what you did. That that performance was dope as hell. Like I'm glad I met you. And then I'll grab a new follower. You know what I'm saying? So it goes from you know show to show, show to show, and you and you build. Even if you got to do the little shows, even if it's ten people in a crowd or five people in a crowd. You perform like it's a million people in a crowd, and at the end of that show, them five people that's there, they're gonna follow you, and then they're gonna tell five more people about you, and then them five people are gonna tell five more people about you, and it's just a, it's just a trickle effect. It's just you know, and that's basically what me and my team been creating. Uh, we've been going to these shows, and we be blowing these folks' mind with the performance and the music and we make sure everything's a one we're, we're in the studio we're cooking up we're making sure we're giving good product to the streets when we deliver you feel me um like i got a shout out to my engineer i got a shout out to my beat makers you know like it's everybody's playing a part in the artist role because everybody has a part to, pl to play you know it's, it's the artist and you have the person that makes the beat then you have the person that, that mixing and master mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying then you have the person that's making a cover for the for the album mm -hmm. or for the single that you're pushing then you have to see what avenue you want to push it on uh how you want to promote it through ads or facebook or through twitter through socials or through word of mouth it's just what, how you go about it it's just that i attack everything like i'm, I'm literally like a one-man band like i'm like my promoter i'm like my manager i'm the artist i'm the beat maker sometimes i'm the the art designer guy sometimes so like if I don't find them guys to fill them shoes, I have to fulfill them shoes myself. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like all yeah. about putting in work. And if you're 100% putting all your energy into something, you're going to get something back in return. You know, it might not come mm -hmm. overnight or the next day, but slowly but surely, you know, you'll get blessed for just putting in work and being genuine and going to shows and doing what you love to do. That energy will come back 10 times, you know? Yes, you just you dropped a lot of like music business and promotional gems on us and I'm I'm glad about that because as you were saying, you know, sometimes when you know you don't have access to a certain person, those skills last a lifetime, how to make a flyer. How For sure. Make, For sure. How to promote social media. So, you know, those are like skills that you can that you don't forget. Like it's like once you you have them there, they're yeah. pretty much there. Like networking. Networking is the key. Yeah. Networking is mm -hmm. the key to life and anything. If you network, if you go out and you meet new people, you never know what them people are capable of. You never know what their, their, their status is. They could be somebody that can help you in the long run or you can help them in the long run. So like when you go to like performances and you network with people as entrepreneurs as yourself, some people that's trying mm -hmm. to, you know, make something of themselves and be something, um, you start to run into people like yourself, people that, that mm -hmm. wants to have you know clothes they got merchandise they do the same thing you do and y'all kind of give each other you know things that yeah. you was missing you know missing the the, the the missing pieces to the puzzle y'all start to fit them when you meet folks out in on a road or like you know like networking it's very like very very much important in any independent artist that's on a strive that's trying to make it i suggest a lot of networking a lot of getting to know people get out your shell if you're in a shell and you're an artist you can't sit in a house and blow up like you can <laughs> if, you have a major hit, if you're uh, one of them type of special individuals that can do that i'm not saying that's not you can that can't be done but you just got to go out there and kind of shake hands with folks and um you never know who you'll meet in these in these places that you go to you know because like i said you meet folks as well of entrepreneurs as yourself designers uh artists yeah. engineers yeah video photographers you know promoters mm -hmm. you know people as like that and 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 that helps you in the long run and it's it shows that i went to and ran into some of the folks from shows way back and they oh how what's up now you're doing this and now they're doing something different and they have something better to offer to the table i got a podcast now i'm doing this you know so it's like 
shake, mm-hmm. shake, 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 go out there and shake hands with folks and network. I swear, if you're an independent artist, they'll get you to definitely the next step or somewhere closer to where you're trying to go. Believe me. Definitely. Definitely. Yes, yes. I often say, like, being um, a musician or, you know, being someone who does music and stuff, it's often like, um, sometimes it's often, it's often a lot of politics and analytics, mm-hmm. you know? <laughs> yeah. So, um, I wanted, so, um, as I'm wrapping the, as, I, as I'm wrapping this interview up for anybody mm-hmm. that just joined the room, could you tell them where they can find your merchandise and your music at? Um, my music actually, you could, in my merchandise, you could hit the link in my bio and it, it's, um, you got at, it's at P-O-P-P-Y underscore also that's my social media on instagram on twitter and facebook as well but if you want to get straight to my merchandise and straight to my music you can straight hit the link in my bio it direct you directly to wherever you need to go youtube to my website um to whatever the latest videos to the latest show that's happening you can hit the link in my bio take you directly to where you need to be at um but if you want to know what the website is at exact you go to www p o p p y o h s o o dot com papioso is pinned at the bottom um dot com and you can get my merchandise and know what you need to know about me and my latest shows and my upcoming events great great so i want to tell you thank you so much for coming to the indie spotlight philly i'm i was happy to have you i'm glad i talked to you i had a really good interview with you and thank you everybody for watching for watching and tuning in and supporting thank Thank you you too thank you (laughs) i appreciate you so much really and shout out (laughs) to philly and everything that you're doing and i wish you nothing (laughs) but the best and success and keep going and striving for whatever you got you know and just keep doing it man like word up shout out to philly and Thanks for having me. I'm Papio. Thanks for having Thank me. Thank you. Thank you, Papio, so much. Have a great day. You too. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye.